what's up boys and girls of youtube as i said we're gonna do tier list for all the different roles next up we got the mid lane so i'm just gonna crank it out the same way i did the jungle tier list which came out the day before this <laughs> or something like that you can go watch that if you want to it's out uh so agni first up a tier just some middle tier god average clear pretty good team fight but not super safe even the dash just not super safe you're really safe early to mid because you can turn on people and you can use your cc to peel and get away from everybody that you need to but ideally your pressure is not crazy in mid your team fight potential if you have pressure as a team is good because you can stun and poke over walls which is dope but if you're being dove it's really really difficult to do what you need to do next up amc i think amc is one of the best mids in the game right now because you have high pressure you have high damage you have high poke you've got sustain you've got every single thing you need on a god except for mobility but you're fast you've got Teleria boots if you're going Teleria boots you've got your hives around which are making you faster the god does very very well right now in this meta Aposh a plus if they have healing Aposh definitely comes up your clear is insane your team fight is really good if you're being dove you have self peel with your own damage on top of you have sustain in your kit on her uh pretty weak mid laner overall if you need physical damage it's a potential but you pretty much need to get early killer too which is really difficult to guarantee out of the mid lane your pressure is okay your damage like i said early is good you're able to kill people if you are fighting but overall there's just better hunters anubis super risky b tier crazy clear crazy damage if they go anti-heal you're fully countered plus your mobile you're fucked aphrodite after the updates a plus uh so aphrodite is getting buffed in the patch coming up your base level on your kiss so for your heal and your movement speed is now eight percent instead of four that's gonna be insane really 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 good like afro is gonna see a lot more play coming out of the mid lane your clear is still gonna be bad early which will be rough to get through but your team fight your ability to poke your ability to just be annoying and sustain and run at people is gonna be high and that's gonna take over the rank scene guaranteed baron weak mid low pressure bad team fight low mobility just not really that good right now actually i kind of would put him at b plus he's a little bit safer than anubis but not much better chunga b plus if you want to have your chunga main that's where chunga is coming in if that's just your your pick your go-to god that's where you're seeing it it's not really that good you uh can pressure out some gods in the mid but not many of them you need to know your matchups really well to pull out chunga turn a bog b plus a decent hunter for you to play in the mid lane nowhere near amc but it does work your clear early is bad but then after that you're very safe you have decent clear uh pretty much unkillable with your three you've got the rotations out of your ult so you're able to split push has some potential definitely not a top hunter chiron if you need a hunter in mid and you need a dispel chiron that's it chronos a tier in the mid lane much higher in the adc role safer late game because of the hard reset you're really 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 annoying on the god meaning you can just poke and be very frustrating because you're very fast but ideally there are much better mids discordia s tier i think discordia is the best safe mid right now that you can play you've got high poke you've got really safe clear you have really strong team fight you have cc you're safe because of your three on top of your cc immune alt there's really not much bad about discordia aside from the first few levels where you're not clearing freya still a snowball mid lane god this placement is based on ranked so for comp i would put freya in a for ranked i would put freya in s because you're high pressure you have full clear it'll just stomp through rank games that simple your high clear will stomp through rank games hades hades is your main god go for it your clear is good team fighting on hades is very very difficult right now so that's your trade-off like you got to have the right engage you've got to be able to to have your team force them into the right positioning for you to go in you'll be lacking in that heavy nuke damage in terms of just like poking from range and doing lots of damage you'll be missing that kibo a plus i think kibo is very very good in the mid lane another all-in god um like we've already talked about hebo as a jungler very similar all in high poke uh great early clear but you can be dove very very easy early in that and early and mid it's scary even late it's scary because if you are dove by multiple people trading a kill can be difficult if the other team has enough defense or uses their actives correctly hell after the buffs a tier hell is getting another uh buff as well i believe i'm pretty sure as hell is getting a buff all the healers are seeing like slight buffs right so hell is gonna move up to a still very mana intensive but in team fights the dispel the damage is sustained is going to go a long way after the patch Hera, i like Hera. 
Very good at diving, very good at self-peel. Can live forever with the right build if you're going the Book of Thoth build into the Book of the Dead. So you've got a shield on top of having a Aegis. And if you're able to pick up a shell because you don't need beads for some reason, unkillable. It's insane. Isis, high pressure right now. Seeing it played a lot in ranks, a little bit in comp. I actually don't mind it. I was saying Isis is probably the shittiest god ever for the longest time. People are making it work right now. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just working really, really well. Plus, the thing that really bumped her up is they made Fire Giant, Enhanced Fire Giant, so hard to do. With Isis, it's no longer hard to do. Izanami, if you need a Hunter mid with high clear, Izanami's good. Team fight's still bad. Janus mid. Doesn't have enough potential early and mid game to make Janus crazy relevant. Late game, awesome. But because global alts aren't as potent, like you're seeing po global alts aren't brought up all that much. Like even when I talked about rat jungle, it wasn't because of the global alt. Um, global alts just aren't doing as much right now. It, it really is not. Side lanes are all about farming and your fights are going on through the mid lane. Mid lane fights with Janus are usually pretty weak because Janus is overall just straight regular team fight. Like instant, like let's 3v3 right here, win. Janice is not good at that for the most part. Jorm mid. I like Jorm a lot. S tier. High pressure in mid. Unkillable because of the ultimate. No real reason not to play Jorm mid ever. Honestly, there, there isn't much. There are a few gods that counter Jorm. Terra does well into Jorm. Nox does well into Jorm. But outside of those, not a high, not, not much potential. I mean, not much potential against the Jorm. There isn't much you can do. Kakulkin, not safe enough to be played right now. B plus plus really hard to secure the ults. Merlin. S plus Merlin is the highest pressure mid as well as the best overall just spamming abilities poking being annoying and staying safe mage you can really play only fault of Merlin is being hard dove if if the other team is full diving you four or five man diving you on Merlin there isn't much you can do you can try to turn and burn because your self peel is awesome but self peeling four or five people is very difficult still has potential in that situation though where other gods would have none neath if you need a hunter mid neath is awesome this is the one time where global alt can have a little bit of presence mainly because if you're split pushing you can still alt into the fight and do four five six hundred damage if you're in the mid lane you can set up with your alt which is dope and that's why and plus high clear no reason if you need a hunter not to play neath nox a tier nox's early clear isn't bad when you're using the dash correctly if you can walk up through the wave Nox is doing pretty good. As I said, Nox is well into Jorm and into some of the other mages like Isis and stuff where you can stop their clear. Really solid pick in those situations, but also pretty risky because you're all about your combo and playing a mage where you have to hit a combo is difficult. Where you're playing mages where you just need to poke them and hit them. Merlin, Hebo, um, even Jorm, you can throw your one out Discordia. Like those gods just excel way more. Nua, S tier. Always making it to mid to late, so you have an ultimate that's doing 800 damage to five targets. Kind of hard to argue against that. Great self peel with the minions and the stun. Plus, you've got the ability to clear waves and just stay super safe with your... Uh, I don't know why I said one. With your creep and your three. And then with your one, you're able to clear waves from super range, so there's no reason not to play it. Poseidon. S+. Plus, high clear. Great team fight in the mid 3v3. In ranked, I'd say Poseidon is way better than in comp. If we're talking about comp only, I'd probably knock Poseidon down to A. Uh, if you're looking at ranked, Poseidon does well because there's so much fighting over and over and over again. Poseidon really excels in those like clown fiesta situations where you're just, it's just a big brawl fest, which is what ranked becomes. Ra, unsafe. So put it a B plus. Outside of being unsafe, Ra is great. It's just so fucking hard to stay alive on Ra. It's really difficult in the current meta to stay alive. Raijin, S tier. Great clear, great pressure, great team fight, self peel with the ult, high damage with the ult, lots of poke. Not plus you have mobility. There isn't too much bad about Raijin. There are a lot of gods that do well into Raijin, like junglers and gods that can just stay on Raijin even afterwards. But outside of those matchups, which almost every god has, Raijin's great. Scylla, A plus. The only reason that Scylla isn't higher is because the range on your like combos, not even your combos, the range on your poke on your one, on your two, isn't super long. Plus, you've got a second where you're kind of using the ability. You've got that animation, so you're kind of in a limbo of like you're not locked down, but you can't be moving and getting away at that exact moment. So that makes Scylla a little bit less safe than some of these other gods while poking. And because of that, I have still a little bit lower. Her ult's insane, but she can also be killed very easily in her ult by everybody. Um, 
gotta have really good positioning on solo like great positioning set mid sounds like a troll but it's not set mid in casuals are doing really well we'll see how it goes into ranked and comp but in casual set has great clear early and people don't know the matchup so it's excelling i don't know if once the matchup is understood and people know what the god can do it'll it'll fall off but as of right now sets an a for me maybe even higher soul if you need an auto attack god in the mid lane that isn't if you need magical auto attack which is rare there's very few situations where you're like i need auto attack magic like that doesn't happen but soul is an option not a bad pick morgan s plus morgan and comp right now has been banned she's coming back in a week or two so you're gonna see her doing her thing she was a top pick before she was being banned she was banned out of comp because of some issues with spectator in ranked and casual she farms kids high pressure the ability to one shot somebody without using an ultimate is their late game which is ridiculous your mobility is insane plus having the ultimate allows you to, to do whatever your team needs you need more frontline you need more dive you need more magic damage you need a hunt another hunter like you have all these options in this god that can already one shot somebody with the right build super scary like very very scary thoth just way too risky to play thoth bad early clear not safe because of the dash the great part about thoth is you can poke and do damage over walls and hit people from super far away but if the team's positioning and the team fight is in a in a place that doesn't really work for thoth you're gonna get fucked you're gonna get dove you're gonna be pressured out it's gonna be very hard to do what you need to do especially since you don't have your stun on your two anymore and it's just a root it's difficult it's not good fuller a plus high clear early and the ability to push that lead every game in every single matchup is why this god is important and why it will and having a physical if you need more physical ul is your option outside of amc like those are your two options in my eyes vulcan a plus not safe but crazy damage mid to late game just insane that insane range poke self peel great god right now great 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 Zeus A plus insane team fight damage another high poke god but you need to have a comp that really does support the Zeus I won't say you can't pick Zeus in every situation because you can so I'm not going to drop Zeus down to A B plus but he hovers in that area where you want to have a comp that does let you do what you want to do so you get the full Zeus effect and then John Kui situational put him in A really if you need a mid laner that's going to front line for you if you don't have enough front line for some reason and you need front line John Kui is going to be what comes up there's our mid lane tier list. Those are all our gods. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Once again, if you don't like the tier list, smell my balls. If you do like the tier list, smell my balls. Manscaped.com, code weekend, smell my balls. <laughs> I'll see you all in the stream and in the YouTube video later tonight.